Hello, Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to my BB Education channel. So today we are going to discuss the business statistics to important syllabus which is important for me theory as well as problem that how to write a theory and how to write problem in business statistics too that we are going to discuss in this video. Before going to start our topic, if you are new to my channel, did not subscribe, it means please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any queries or else if you want anything which is related to your commerce subject means please do ask me in the comment session. Okay. So let's start our topic. In this business statistics too, according to Smania University, we have five units. First is regression. Second one is index numbers. Third one is time series. Fourth is probability. Fifth is theoretical distribution, right? So first one is regression. In this regression, we have theory as well as problem. According to examination point of view, sometimes examiner will ask you uh, theory and sometimes they may ask you problem right uh, or else we have two option no option a option b so they'll give you an option a theory or else option a uh, b problem otherwise uh, if they don't give you options means they'll give you problem problems is most important in business statistics too okay so let us discuss here first we have introduction linear and non-linear regression linear and non-linear regression that is not uh, much important according to me because they'll ask you for very short or a short if they want means they'll ask you uh, for short one so no need to learn that then correlation versus regression that is also not important here important is lines of regression lines of regression very important here regression of uh, y on x and regression of x on y they'll ask you for long लॉन्ग के लिए आपको ऐसे पूछेंगे रिग्रेशन एक्स ऑन वाई वाई ऑन एक्स ऐसे है तो इसका जब प्रॉब्लम बेस है या थियोरी बेस है तो आपको कैसे लिखना है वो अकॉर्डिंग टू योर रीडर यू विल अटेम दिस वन ओके दिस टू इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर लॉन्ग हियर सेकेंड यूनिट इंडेक्स नंबर इंडेक्स नंबर वी हैव यूजर्स एंड टाइप्स ऑफ इंडेक्स नंबर दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर शॉर्ट यूजर्स एंड टाइप्स ऑफ इंडेक्स नंबर दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर शॉर्ट हियर इन द लॉन्ग वन वी हैव different methods of index number right we have the different methods of index number first is method of constructing index number what are the methods simple method or else weighted average method in the simple method and weighted average different problem is there in that we have last pierce method past cheese marshall edgeworth method so we have these kind of different methods right so here uh, next one is time reversal test factor reversal test according to me uh, most of the time examiner will ask you time reversal test or factor reversal test they combine both time and factor and give you for long okay so this is one question and another one is in index number uh, last piece and past cheese most important for long one last piece method and past cheese method for weighted index and simple index number long one and if you are learning this long means you are covering as well as short they'll ask you for short means you can write now so you are covering short as well as long here base shifting is for short very important if they'll ask you splicing means that is theory only okay so learn for very short short one okay base shifting is also for short if they'll ask you problem means they'll give you base shifting problem for short one right then unit number three that is time series in this time series we have uh, um, averages different types of averages we so important one is moving averages according to me moving averages least square okay least square methods and moving averages that is most important in time series users and limitation of time series short for as well as for long no need to learn extra thing this uh, decentralization of data that is not much important components that is also not important so leave this one learn moving averages least square users and limitation of time series that is enough to score good marks right so unit number four is probability प्रोबेबिलिटी जैसे ही आता ना सब कंफ्यूज हो जाते हैं कि हाँ इतना डिफिकल्ट है कैसे अटेंड करेंगे थियोरी रहती टू थ्री लाइंस का आंसर लिखे तो प्रॉब्लम आपका टू थ्री लाइंस में ही ख़त्म हो जाता प्रोबेबिलिटी का और आपको प्रोबेबिलिटी में मिलेंगे फिफ्टीन मार्क्स 
okay 15 to 17 marks you will score in probability so uh, here in the probability what is probability probability means happening of one event one event to another event does not uh, happening it means that कोई एक इवेंट हो भी सकता या फिर नहीं नहीं हो सकता आपको राइट अगर आप कॉइन लेंगे कॉइन लेके उसको टॉस करेंगे तो आपको हेड भी आ सकता टेल्स भी आ सकता तो इस इस टाइप के ऐसे जो बेसिक है हमारे रेगुलर में जो हम यूज करते हैं हैपनिंग ऑफ वन इवेंट डज नॉट अकर्स द हैपनिंग ऑफ अनदर इवेंट्स दैट इज प्रोबेबिलिटी सो आपको क्या रहेगा वहां पे जब आप कॉइन्स लेंगे टॉस करेंगे यूज करेंगे हेड हो सकता है टेल्स हो सकता है इस तरह के बेसिक प्रॉब्लम्स आपको शॉर्ट के लिए पूछेंगे प्रोबेबिलिटी में तो एक एग्जांपल दी मैं बस आपको कि इस तरह के आएंगे तो आप उससे रिलेटेड जो भी कार्ड से रिलेटेड किंग क्वीन ऐसे टाइप में सो उस उस से रिलेटेड आपकी रीडर में जितने भी प्रॉब्लम है आप वो प्रैक्टिस करिए ओके प्रोबेबिलिटी शॉर्ट के लिए ओके okay, लॉन्ग के लिए भी ये शॉर्ट फोर टू फाइव ऐसे शॉर्ट शॉर्ट लेके लॉन्ग के लिए एक पूछ सकते हैं आपको प्रोबेबिलिटी में हियर इवेंट म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव इवेंट सिंपल एंड कंपाउंड इवेंट्स दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट राइट देन थियरम्स ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी वी हैव एडिशनल मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड बेस थियरम एडिशनल थियरम मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड बेस थियरम मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज बेस एंड एडिशनल थियरम First learn base theorem, then additional theorem, then go to multiplication theorem. Okay, if you will uh, learn this means you will cover long as well as for short. This one, right? Then unit number fifth, theoretical distribution. It is very most important and quite easy chapter. Theoretical distribution. We have a different kind of distribution um, here: binomial distribution, Poisson distribution, and normal distribution here. In binomial poison and normal poison, they'll ask for short. Okay, so I didn't tick here important. Learn binomial that how to fit a uh, binomial distribution. Fitting up of binomial distribution very most important for long. Then come to normal distribution. It is also very important for long. Learn these two. Okay, is se related jitne bhi problem hai aapko fitting up of binomial distribution or normal distribution se jitne bhi related problem hai please do practice all those things if you will practice each and everything uh, which is there in your reader or else at least five problems of uh, binomial okay five problems of uh, uh, normal if you will do five five problems you will get perfection in this and you will get good marks so here uh, no need to learn all these things. Okay. Normal distribution may up question kaisa frame hunga fitting a normal distribution, fitting up of a normal distribution that how to fit a normal distribution that will cover in that. Okay. So we have discussed each and every unit in detail. If you have any doubt or else if you did not understand any point, any answer, any problem means you will ask me in the comment session. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you are new to my channel, did not subscribe, it means please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Okay. If anyone is needy or else helpful means please share with them so that they'll get points which they don't know. Thank you so much for watching my video.